Mike Tamano. 111 years old from Muncie, Indiana, Bertha Fry. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, dear? I'm very well, thank you. Happy birthday. Have you enjoyed your celebration this week? Oh, yes, it's been wonderful. Did you think you'd become a celebrity? No, I wasn't expecting (laughs) this beyond my comprehension that I've lived this long. Now, the rumor is that you're a go-getter still. You get up and you go to exercise class every day? I I don't go every day, but I go the greater part of it. Does that help you through your day to get a little exercise early on? It it begins as as 9.30 here. What do they do, some stretching? It isn't very strenuous. Well, you don't want to you don't want to work out too hard. No, we don't want to hurt ourselves. No. All right, you stay away from those free weights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Reports say when the deputy approached the car, they could smell the odor of burnt cannabis and asked Johnson if he had any drugs on him. Johnson reportedly told the officer, "Yes, a couple of bags of weed." But I want to just say the pot smokers of Kankakee are some of the most honest people. <laughs> you like that? That I because. <laughs> Countless stories. Never once have I heard someone deny that they have marijuana in their car. Sure. So I just want to, to all you Kankakee potheads, I just want to say your honesty is to be commended. Really? Isn't that nice? Just the most honest bunch of folks I've ever come across, the Kankakee pot smokers. Is that, now are they? The uh, Kankakee (laughs) pot smokers. I think they meet on Wednesday (laughs) afternoons, actually. You might be able to find where the meeting is. They wear their little fezes made out of hemp. (laughs) What is going on in Central Florida with these frogs, Cynthia? They're everywhere. I don't know. I, I don't know. We've had a, you know, from um, that storm, say, I don't know if you guys heard about that. Yeah. But we've had a lot of water, you know, a lot of floods and stuff like that. All right. We brought in a specialist, ladies and gentlemen, from the Frog Amphibian Research Technology Institute, or FART. We have from Grundy County, Hamlet Williams. Come on in, Hamlet. Hi there. How are you? First of all, what color are the frogs on your driveway, if I can ask you right off the bat? They're um, dark, but as they get bigger, they're turning green. They're growing as we speak. I don't know if they're, no, they're not growing as I speak, they're but they're, because they're not growing as I speak, but I'm saying that. All right, hold on. Who's the man in the background? That's my son. He has Okay, a- is he a frog expert? No, he's All right, not. All right, then tell him just to step off a little bit. Let me handle the situation. Let an expert handle it. Is there a formation? Are the frogs forming any sort of, uh, are they spelling anything out in the driveway? No, they're not spelling anything out. Right. Are they leaping up on top of cars? Yes. Are they mating as we speak? Are they getting promiscuous, Randy? Because if they're mating... I haven't haven't seen any doing the nasty, not yet. No, they haven't started having sex yet. All right, well, may they might be done. Are any of them smoking a cigarette? (laughs) No. All right. Good morning. Omarosa, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Good. Omarosa. You get a lot of guys hitting on you when you you go to apply for a job because you're pretty? I think since I got my boobs done... Uh, you know, now I see the difference. But can I just compliment you on your boobs? I, I didn't, I didn't see them. No, no, seriously, I didn't see them before. I mean, I didn't, you know, wasn't aware of them. But the pictures that I've seen recently, and they're just perfect. Mike, do you put out on the first date? I, I put out before the first date. <laughs> I put out before I get there. <laughs> Mike Tamano, you enjoying the program today? Yeah, you you do a lot of nonsense on there. Yes, that is what I'm known for. Yeah, authorities broke up an aggressive Northern California drug ring that shipped methamphetamine from California hidden in Elmo doll and other toys. Elmo on meth! Elmo buying up all the sinus and allergy medicine at the counter. (laughs) Elmo's teeth falling out. Oh. Elmo all strung out. Elmo itchy. (laughs) Elmo blew up trailer with methamphetamine lab. (laughs) Please welcome Aaron Moran, Joni Cunningham. How are you, Aaron? Good. How are you? When you were in the vagina monologues, did you have to learn to throw your voice? Throw my voice? That's pretty funny. Next question. That was hysterical. <laughs> Golly. <laughs>